Welcome back to Web Development Bootcamp, Part 1, Lesson 4, HTML Images. The HTML file structure and folder names should be carefully thought out prior to writing a single piece of HTML. It is one of the most important things that need to be accomplished. We will cover in this lesson the image folder, image syntax, image types, image size and width, floating images, and image formats. We'll have a summary, some tips, an exercise, and some homework. We'll first take up image folder. You can see here the image folder is on the root directory along with the CSS folder and the JavaScript folder. The index HTML or the home page which is the first page that is displayed when you enter your uh, website. The way you organize a website depends on the type of website you're building and the way you like to do it. It's our recommendation you create a main directory that will contain all the files and subdirectories of the site. It can later be uploaded as is to your host server. The first thing you have to think of is that putting all of the files in the root directory may be fine for a small size of five pages and three images, but if you have to handle 30 pages and 200 images or more, the prior organization can turn what had been a serious problem into a smooth development. So what you can do to start is to start grouping the files in some way and placing them in different directories to make your site a little easier to manage and update. Here's a sample of a simple HTML file directory. You can notice that the contact information, the images, and the index are all on the root. Here also the home page or index images and CSS folders are on the root directory. Also the subdirectory, but the subdirectory contains other website pages. In this case the about, the gallery, and the contact page. And the gallery can have other subdirectories by content. Notice here that if we wish to go to about and go back to the index, what we want to do is use the A tag and you notice here the dot dot slash is telling the browser I want to go back one level. So therefore it goes from the about to the root directory. In this case it says I want to go back one level to a, a file called index.html. Well it goes from the about to index and therefore your home page is displayed. Now let's say we want to take a place a, a photo in the gallery. What we do here is use, of course, the image, the source. We want to go up one level to a folder called images and grab a file called mypic.jpg. The width will be 150 pixels by 180 pixels. Very simple. Therefore, if I want to go up two levels, I'll go dot dot slash dot dot slash images or whatever directory we wanted to go to to grab some information. Image syntax. The making of a image link would have these following tag and attributes. The image tag would be used. The source represents the URL to that image. The alt again is the alternate text that would be displayed if the browser could not find the image or red for the vision impaired. And the style attribute which is the various attributes that can be used with images. We'll go through some of these later. The image tag, if you might note, is an empty tag, which means it doesn't have a closing tag. Here's the breakdown of an image link. We have the opening tag, the image source, the image folder, where to find the image we're looking for, and the image name. Then we have the style attributes. In this case, the photo will be 158 pixels by 125 pixels. Then we use the alternate tag. In this case, the alternate text is Pops 2 Cents Photo. Image formats. There are three image file formats that are used in web development. They are GIF, 
JPEG, and PNG. Each one has a specific purpose and to be used with a specific type of image. This causes faster loading and smaller files. The first one, the Graphics Interchange Format or GIF. CompuServe's 8-bit GIF format has long been the most popular format on the internet, mainly because of its small size. It's ideal for small navigational icons and simple diagrams and illustrations where accuracy is required or graphics with large blocks of a single color. GIF files can be saved with a maximum of 256 colors. This makes it a poor format for photographic work. GIFs have the option to dither and will mix pixels of two different available colors to create a suggested color. GIFs can be animated and can also be interlaced which is a way of saving a graphic so that it progressively shows itself, which is another reason that it became so successful. Most animated banners are GIFs. The next format is the JPEG, or Joint Photographic Expert Group. And as it points to, the 16-bit JPEG format is used with photographs in mind. It is capable of displaying millions of colors at once without the need for dithering, allowing for the complex blend of hues that occur in photographic images. Though JPEGs can be interlaced, they lack many of the other special abilities of GIFs, like animation and transparency. But, as I said, they are really only for photos. Simple graphics with large blocks of color should not be saved as JPEGs because the edges get all smudgy. Next one is Portable Network Graphics or PNG. This is the latest format. PNG, pronounced PNG, is a format specifically created for the web. The creators of PNG went ahead and created a format superior to GIF in almost every way. One version of the format, PNG 8, it's similar to GIF format. It can be saved with a maximum of 256 colors and supports 1-bit transparency. While sizes when saved in Capable Image Editor will be noticeably smaller than the GIF counterpart as Ping saved their color data more efficiently. Ping 24 is another flavor of Ping with 24-bit color allowing ranges of color akin to a high color JPEG. However, PNG24 is in no way a replacement format for PNG image size and width. There's two formats that can be used to specify size and width of an image. The one is the style format seen above using a style to specify the width and height and also the attribute which is a suggested use. The attribute uses width equal to size and height equal to size. This is the one that should be used. Floating images. In the paragraph below, we have added an image with a style float right. The result is that the image will float to the right in the paragraph. You can notice right here we're using style. And the style we're using is float colon right. We could also have float colon left. The text will flow around the image. In this case, photo is to the right, the text will be on the left. Summary. The HTML file structure complexity is dependent on the type of project, but must have careful consideration to make it easy to obtain the files when needed. The HTML file structure will have a direct impact on the web navigation. There are three image formats used in HTML, with each having a specific image type to be used with. They are GIF, JPEG, and PNG. GIFs are to be used with simple images or images with large areas of a single color. It also can be used to create animations and transparent backgrounds. The JPEG format is used with photographic images where there is a vast amount of various colors, 
Simple graphics with large blocks of color should not be saved as JPEGs because the edges get all smudgy. The alt attribute should be used on every image link. The alt text is read by a screen reader for those with vision impaired and displayed by the browser if the image cannot be located. The image tag is an empty tag which means it has no closing tag. This next example is a sample of an image link. Just remember you need the opening link, the path source, set the size of the image, and the alt. The width and height styles may be used on, an, on the image link. However, it's suggested that the alternate method be used. The image may be placed right or left on the document by using the float attribute, float right or float left. Pop tips. Do not use the JPEG image format for images that contain large blocks of color and should be used for photographs only. Use the GIFs image format for graphics that have large blocks of color and simple graphics. Although styles and attributes can be used to set the size of an image, it is recommended that the attribute method be used. Always specify the width and height of the image. It will save file size and will load faster. Always think out how you will organize the website file structure for easy access to files. Add style border colon zero to prevent IE9 and earlier versions from displaying a border around an image. Exercise. Using what you have learned thus far on website file structure, think about a website you would like to create and plan its file structure. Two. Find the images that you wish to use on the above website and save them in the image folder. Congratulations, you have completed part one, lesson four, HTML images. I hope you have enjoyed the tutorial. Please provide us any feedback, questions, or suggestions you may have. We will respond as soon as possible. For support, place your questions and concerns in the video comment section so that questions and answers can be shared. Homework. Using the planned file structure and saved images, start putting together the planned website. Like the tutorial? Then click like and please subscribe.